welcome back. Uh, we're in day two here with an actual sunlight, no rain, you know. I know everybody got the problem with the snow and stuff, but we got the rain. I hope we don't get no more. Well, you know, when it's time to really actually rain for a purpose, you know. <laughs> but uh, I know it's been a good minute since I made a video. Just, uh, I don't really do nothing. I don't really do that much in the winter time, garden wise, unless I go on a collard green cabbage escapade or something like that. But other than that, I'm not a winter person out here. I ain't really mastered that that season yet. <laughs> Probably never will. I mean, it just planning. My planning ain't it ain't right when I do winter time stuff. So. But maybe next year or this year, maybe, I don't know. Because I know last year, 2020, we, I could have definitely got two gardens out of this place, out of my, my main area over there. Um, but this right here down below is the new addition to the garden. I'm at the point of no return right now. I've been working on periodically on clear days. So today I'm going to try to scrape some more of that grass up. To, to my garden area over there and so, uh, see what happens. Um, I don't really have that much left to go. It looks like a lot, but other than that, I'm either gonna buy a tiller or just till it with a shovel. The ground really ain't hard. It's, you know, got a lot of water in it. You know, through, the, through the weeks it's been raining, it's not flooded, but there's nice enough content of water in there to till it. My main garden over there, it's been tilled so many times, so I still might get a tiller because I got a. It's gonna be a big area now. I don't know if I'm gonna get one of them electric tillers or a small cultivator tiller gas one. I'm still in judging on that one, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, the chaos is getting closer and closer to the tilling section on the garden. So welcome back. Um, so I got junk in the barrel here. I just scraped this up the other day, finished it off best I could. We got piles of grass still in the front yard. Hopefully they don't. I'm put this centipede grass, so I'm pretty sure it got them rhymes on so it come back. Um but the rest of it just getting the junk out of here, getting all this stuff cleared away, tilling the ground before it gets too hot hard because that sun's gonna start beating down on the sandy area. And it's gonna be like a, a floor. Or the first two inches or so probably crusty so i'll probably wet it down in advance uh unless i get a tiller if i get a tiller it'll be all right sitting out here got some uh long red slim look like cayennes or something Ooh, look at that heat look like cayennes it may be longer i don't know hopefully i can get these bushes big see how what they're about got two about 12 of them Got the sweet bananas. Got 24 of them. Got uh, some regular little sweet bell. I think. And I got pimento. I'm gonna try that out. See what it, how that is. I never tried them. I got six of them, six bells. Of course, the bells, I'm gonna get some more of them. Uh, probably a few weeks, another two weeks or so. Um, they're starting out slow right now. They just, the month has started. Well, any March yet, so people are going to start getting their supplies in, and they're three dollars for a six pack, you know, so it's good in the pocket there. Y'all seen that little video? Um, ground is kind of hard. 
to a certain extent, you know, it got the crust of sand in it. Sand content's high. You got a lot of, uh, we had a lot of, it's a lot of like third or fourth 80 degree weather day. Might be a little prank on us. You know, we usually get a cold snap again. But um, what, I'm, what I'm doing is breaking it up. It looked harder than it was. Once you get down there with a shovel, it's easy to break up. I'm gonna um, do some more. And I'm gonna hit it with the ads over there and um, chop it up, get it broke down. It's gonna take a couple, probably a couple of tills. Maybe um, if I'm doing my shovel, it's gonna take, I gotta till it, chop it, water it down, probably till it again and uh, break it down real good. I'm trying to get a, a shovel deep, maybe, maybe deeper if I can, but shovel's good enough. No roots don't really go all the way too deep. So, uh, got a lot of work to do. Got 24 banana peppers, uh, six bell peppers, six pimento peppers, and um, I think 12, the long cayenne for 42,000 Scoville units. But uh, yeah, I got my work cut out for me. Um, hopefully, I can get it tilled, no, broke up today because uh, I've been doing it off and on today. I'm, I'm not going to kill myself. I've got plenty of time. Uh, but I can't wait to start getting into the garden. I got stuff to build. I want to build a trellis out of bamboo. Make one of the bamboo trellises along here. Put beans in it. Beans or cucumbers, or cucumbers on the back back fence. Um, okra is going to go over here. Squash is going to go over here. And this is a new area. I'm not sure how good it's going to act, re, how good it's going to do. Um, smells like dirt. <laughs> See what happens, I guess. I mean, my other side of the garden over here is getting better. Every year it gets better. I got telling a lot of junk in it, a lot of you know leaves and sticks and all that stuff plants like that stuff so all right let me get back to work Well, that's um, phase one. Took 10 minutes to do that piece with a tiller. Um, good old Craftsman, five HP 
horsepower, not five hit points. <laughs> My Briggs and Stratton there. Um, Craftsman does pretty good with their stuff, especially the older kind of stuff. Not sure how old this is. But um, my uncle, uh, asked my uncle if I can borrow it. And uh, he brought it over for me. And I told him I was thinking about buying one. He told me not to worry about it. And he let me have it. I was pretty nice to my uncle there because I really, I really do need a tiller these days. Digging with a shovel. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of back breaking there for a minute. So, and I got some stuff I got to get in the ground. Some pepper print. Well, I thought it was going to be harder than it was. <laughs> uh, it ate through that pretty good. I just, I first, I actually, I started over there um, before I did the main garden area. And uh, it wouldn't hit in the, in the ground, but I think I didn't have it, the, the speed all the way down or up. And um, that's probably why I didn't go in. But it tore through that thing in not less than 10 minutes. So, man, that, <laughs> that makes my day right there, man. Yeah, I tell you what, them, them machines are very costly. Um, the the back kind that does the, the back tiller kind, very costly. But you know the front tillers, I have experience with them, and they drag your butt all over the place. This one had a little fight to it, but the ground gets soft. I expected that, but uh, not like the front tillers. They wear your butt out. So if you ever get a coin or cash or or whatever, and you you're having a hard time with a front tiller or something like that, try to look for one of them back the back uh, tiller because it makes a whole lot of difference. It it it, it makes it all smooth, smoother for you. Um, some of them. Probably got extra kind of break or something to break it down but i might go through it again i might not i probably break it down because it's pretty pretty deep it's probably about good i don't know it might be about seven inches or so that's pretty pretty okay for what i need um let me check hold on a second oh yeah it fluffs it up pretty pretty good pretty dang good um but it might be an area over here I'm going to do potatoes in. I got some iron up. So I'll probably go a little deeper. Um, I raised I raised the depth on it up just a couple notches. But I know I'm going to get a, a tad bit deeper. It's going to be a fight, but I want at least a row of potatoes back here behind me. I just got to find a place that ain't too watery. And uh, plant them suckers down. But there you have it two areas done so far in 20 minutes instead of a day or two because you do if you dig with a shovel it's like and you at home it's like ah, I, I dig later on i dig it later on dig it. but then it gets to where you ain't doing nothing productive on your weekend days off after work or whatever because you got to get these gardens going man so see you later